So you've probably heard Japanese people say des or mas. Ja, ski na anime wa nan desu ka? Eh, Love Live? Love Live. Love Live ski desu. I said nan desu ka with des in it. And he said ski desu. You also hear mas. Sore te ii koto da tomaimasu ka? Mmm, watashi wa ii to omoimasu, zenzen. I said omoimasu ka with mas in it. And she also said, "Omoimas." We write desu and masu, but we typically don't pronounce the last u and say des and mas. But what are these? Grammatically speaking, des is a copula and mas is an auxiliary verb, which means grammatical explanations aren't always useful. Practically speaking, we use des and mas to speak keigo or Honorific language. As an adult, we typically speak keigo with people who are older than us, strangers, or a certain demon king who can give us a lot of trouble if we don't show respect. And we typically don't use keigo with friends and family members. This is just a guideline, so there's many exceptions. In this interview, we are using keigo because we are strangers. But some people actually don't use keigo in my interviews because they have a friendly personality. It's easy to recognize keigo because you hear this, mas, or their variations such as masen, mashita, deshita, desho, masho, or some keigo words like kudasai. Let's see if you can catch these words. Dodgeball. <laughs> She said, Wakarimashita. So, mashita is a keigo word. She also said, Oshie shimasu. Mas is a keigo word. And if you don't understand these sentences, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak because textbooks and apps don't represent real life Japanese. So, click the link in the description and subscribe to my email group. But anime characters don't always follow real life rules of keigo. They sometimes do, but they sometimes don't. Some characters always use keigo as a way to make them different from other characters. Yo from Spy Family used keigo even with her brother, which doesn't typically happen in real life. With friends and family members, we typically sound like this. <laughs> Did you notice that there's no des or mas here? It's because we weren't using keigo. We are actually friends, so it makes sense. But if you want to use keigo with the first sentence, it's gonna be something like Demo yappari chigao kuni da kara, otagai no kuni ikiki dekiri no wa ii to omoimasu. I add it, mas. You just have to add this omas at the end of the sentence. Textbooks probably teach you to speak like this. This is a little more polite than the first version, but in this kind of casual context, it can be a little too polite. But either way, as long as you add this omas at the end of a sentence, you're using keigo. But here's an interesting question. Is there a name for non keigo Japanese when we don't use keigo? Colloquially, we use words like tamego or tameguchi for non keigo, but there's actually no definite official term. I've come across this discussion about official terms, and there are some possible words, but there are no definite ones. This is because not using keigo is the most basic and normal way of speaking Japanese. That's why in English, it's sometimes called Plain Japanese or neutral Japanese. Kids learn plain Japanese first and then learn keigo when they are old enough. In written Japanese, though, we have jōtai for plain Japanese and keitai for keigo. But average Japanese people are not familiar with these terms. Even if you don't know the names, recognizing them is easy. And because of this, you can sometimes figure out the hierarchy between people just by listening to them. For example, in Japanese middle school and high school, we use keigo with our senpai, and we don't use keigo with our classmates and kohai. Take a look at this.
お前が言うな痛いですねですもしかしてこいつ中学生か So the first line お前が言うな This is not 敬語 because there's no this or must But the second line 痛いですね There's this So it's 敬語 So you know that he's senior to the girl The other guy was surprised because he was assuming that they were in the same grade But now that she used this He now knows that she's actually a 後輩 And he's not using Keigo with the first guy, so you know that they are classmates. Isn't it interesting that you can work out their relationships just by listening to this short clip? Fluent Japanese speakers do this intuitively. Now, we don't typically use Keigo with our classmates, right? But what if we use Keigo with our classmates even though we usually don't? We might end up sounding a little pretentious, cold, or distant. My favorite example for this is Sasha, the potato girl. そろそろうぜんだがはいお前のそのバカ丁寧な喋り方だなんで同期にまで敬語なんだよえっとこれはですね So the first girl said Why are you using 敬語 with classmates? So she used the word 敬語 And Sasha said これはですね Using 敬語 So using 敬語 isn't always a good thing You can be too polite I prefer calling it honorific language, but it's sometimes called polite form or formal form. But formal form is a very misleading name because using keigo doesn't make things instantly formal. In real life, we typically speak informally while using keigo. Example. <laughs> She said this, so this is keigo. But she's also using a lot of colloquial expressions, such as nande, which is a colloquial way of saying nanode, hashitteku, which is a contraction of hashitteiku, toka is an informal word. She and ne are also colloquial expressions. So this is pretty informal, but also keigo. You can speak like this in most situations in real life and you can never be rude. But if you want to hear formal Japanese, I have this clip of our Prime Minister speaking at the press conference. Uh, so, she and Sakihodo are formal expressions. Itashimashita is a type of keigo called Kenjogo or humble language. Honjit and Genka are also formal expressions. So, keigo and formal Japanese are not the same thing. You can use keigo informally or formally. And in written Japanese, plain Japanese can actually sound more formal than keigo because this must sound conversational. In newspapers, they typically use plain Japanese. And there's another common misconception because every time I talk about keigo, there's always somebody who tries to correct me saying that, oh, this must be tenego and not keigo. But that's not true. Our Ministry of Education defines keigo very clearly. There are five types of keigo, and tenego, this must, is one of them. This is also how we use the word keigo in real life. So, this must are indeed keigo. But here's the thing we normally speak keigo with strangers, right? But if we become friends, how do we transition from keigo to plain Japanese? I have an interesting example from a dating show. あの、犬公園に連れてって一緒に遊んだり、筋トレが結構好きなんで、ジムに行ってます。やばい、自分一人でサンフランシスコなってない、それ。やばい、やばい、やめよう。So <笑><笑> they were using Kego initially. The guy said, "何してるんですか?" with this. And the woman replied, "ジムに行ってます." using mas. So it's Kego. 
but they've just learned that they've both lived in the States. So the guy decided to say something a little humorous, and he's not using keigo here. San Francisco ni natte nai, sore. There's no desu so this is plain Japanese. The woman laughed and also picked up that he wasn't using keigo, and she reciprocated by not using keigo either. She said, Bareta, no desmas here. Yameyo, no desmas here. So no keigo here. And now that they established that they are comfortable not using keigo, they're not using it anymore. Yameyo te nandeyo? Iijan betsu ni. Nandeyo, not keigo. Iijan, not keigo. So this is a very smooth transition. But if you are thinking, oh, this is very complicated, I will give you a very simple rule. Use keigo when you meet Japanese people. When you become friends with them, you can normally drop keigo, especially when they are your age or younger. If you are not sure, just ask them. You can say something like, keigo tsukatta hou ga ii desu ka? Is it better to use keigo? Or they might say something like, keigo ja nakute ii yo? It's okay if you don't use keigo. And if you forget the inflections, just add this at the end. It might not be grammatically correct, but you won't be rude. Anime characters sometimes talk like that anyway. Yattokitadesne is grammatically incorrect. It should be Yattokimashitane. But if you want to speak correct Japanese, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak because textbooks and apps don't teach you real life Japanese. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Utah.